no, no, no. I'm doing a video. So this is a sketch pad. This isn't a good one, it's like a cheap one. But um, I was just doing some like, this is a technique where you put a texture map on the square and then what type of website it is around it. Because I wanted to do this browser battler thing where you have to fight commercials while we browse the internet. But pretty much instead of having web page links, everything was like pictures and you got to shoot stuff. So it would be a picture of the club or like a face pool and have all the Facebook pages and you kind of like shoot the page and you go to the first page. Something like that. That's the robo like symbol. It wasn't originally created by me, but I purchased the right to use it from somebody on freelancer.com. That was really cool. I gotta go show you that right now. I'll go over there. They drew a nice Rama logo that I don't use for Rama Club. But, um, I like, I like the Robo Like lot. So give us a like, Robo Like. I'll call this video Robo Like. So, um, this is me trying to do art. Sometimes I take my time, and sometimes I don't know. Um, oh yeah, this was a, this was a wheel that had our grass in the front, and you moved it back and forth, and it moved. And it's a little carton that I had when I was a kid. Um, it's kind of cool, this green little turtle thing. Um, so these are, if you're trying to draw, you want to learn how to do, control how hard you press the, down on the pencil. So you try to get alternate between like hard and soft, hard and soft, you can't really tell. But in between there, there's little lines in between there. Like over here, hard, soft, hard, soft. And then I went underneath it, makes like a water effect. Somebody else taught me that. I do the same thing with squares. Hard on one side, double line thickness. And then on the inside, I do the opposite. So like the top corner was thin, then in the inside, the top corner will be dark makes a little 3D effect. When you're doing stuff that pops up in front of you in 3D space, the the more bold or thicker the, the outline is, the more it like pops out in front of your face. Or um, if you're using like white or something. So I don't have any examples of that. But these are just some things I've learned. This is a technique I learned. Um, it's like hatching. But you try to keep them evenly stroked, like do five in one direction. Then I tried the same thing with like circles. But these are all about controlling your uh, your pencil strokes. But um, so yeah, this little this logo for Haven, and uh, this is symbol called Word. That's like guy. Uh, so this was like. The Mickey Mouse symbol on top of a dollar sign with the W says, Sup with the character. This one's this is an instrument idea. I call the picture Future Frog. It was like something you blow in and play piano to. And this is the logo for Big. Oh, Big! Like Big Headed. And these are like, um, I don't know, a bajillionaire. They're like, just little like logo things. Logos! See? Logos! I just did it real quick. Me trying to draw a horse. Kinda. Probably could do better, but I don't like looking at reference pictures. I tried to make it my own without having outside influence. So, nothing influences my timeline. That's my method of doing it. I'm kinda crazy about that and get ideas in my head like you could get stuck in the picture or something like that. I don't know who invented the camera or who invented the fork. Right? Stuff like that. And the rattlesnake beans that trip me out. Like Artifacts from the Future was a book that I want to write. And it, the logo is like a cigarette but because something like that could be an artifact from the future. And then, um, I had a method of writing fonts where you have to, like, blur your eyes together. 
and it like overlaps the adjacent pictures and then you can read what it says. So like you have to look at it cross-eyed to see what it says. So just synthesize, symptom, synthetic person, holocaust. Sometimes I get schizophrenic, but what's the word? OCD-ish, and I just write down stuff. Like, so I was going over the breakdown of animatable parts here, and I was trying to figure out how I can overlap the animated parts on top. Because when you're doing animation, like, you have the body and part of the neck, and the head can move off, but you can still see the neck underneath it in a different layer. So that's kind of the layering technique to composite. This is an idea for a guitar. I think I'm going to use washers instead of this idea. But pretty much you smack these little spring-loaded things and it smacks down on the string like the hammer jammer. I bought that thing and it sucks so bad, I gotta invent a better one. So, but yeah, here's the soda caps. I think washers are better. A little bit of solder and you'd be good to go. Or if I could punch out a little piece of metal to make a little, like, clamp hook thingy. So these are like fine tuner spring nuts. I was gonna use the fine tuner with um with cell phone motors thumper and just uh, this is a different idea. You just put like a little pen cap like stuck to your finger and you can smack the string like that makes a different sound. It works really good. So these are tests of different types of pencil leads. If you have a whole bunch of pencils, you should try them out yourself to learn how to do it. I'm not a pro artist. Um, on YouTube, Sykra is one of my favorite people because he really, like, he told me whenever you're going to draw something, draw it like 10,000 times small. <laughs> he didn't say 10,000 times. But try to make a bunch of small versions first so then you can decide how you're going to crop it or where you're going to put it or what angle looks best. I thought that was the best advice from any artist that I've ever had. I wanted to have a show on, like, have an artist version of, like, um, American Idol for singing. It's like, draw this! And artists compete to draw, like, they're hooked on music or whatever. And, like, you watch how the artists draw. Um, children of the Sea, they're all fish. The uh, um, Star Rats is a logo. I liked it because it's palindrome. Star Rats. As you read it backwards, same thing. Um, Mark Crilly is another good person on YouTube. He's a great artist. And I think his, some of his art is awesome. And Partridge, I learned something from her. I didn't know that you could water down your watercolor and actually just paint with water. So I learned that from her. Nobody actually showed me how to how to do it. So this is simultaneous texting. It has two words on top of overlapping. It says peace earth. And then it's an exclamation. It's kind of like Rick and Morty shit. Um, these are dirt cave speaker vents from a dream I had with the cave man and blue eyed moth man and the Jedi dude from the red planet. Anyways, um, that was crazy. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Venus. Uh, oh, save the zombie stuff! Org! Feed your brain! RSS feed site. Not my idea, but it would be cool. Politician brand smokes. It says, half baked toasted stogies. And it's a frog with the musician's hat on it. Um, I'm almost out of time for this video. But one of my dreams, I had a caterpillar trolley. And that ended with like, um, uh, a giant mosquito. So these are the Rama Cub logos. I like it because it looks like face, like Easter Island. That's a bit spit logo. These are some fonts that I, I just try to make fonts with different, I want to animate the fonts and like move the outer rings around it. And these are some movie ideas. Squid Aliens. And I might go over those later. And these are like logo redesigns. I'm going to shut the video now.